Hey guys, just a quick video today. Just wanted to uh, show you what this poor little clump of fruit trees is like and the kind of damage that it does with the uh, strimmers. This is strimmer damage or weed whacker damage or string damage depending on excuse me there's loads of flies uh, depending on what you want to call it. Um, this is obviously quite tricky to do for like a homeowner. It's, it's easy for somebody that does it as a profession can use the guard and you go in kind of like a clockwise direction so you go in a clockwise direction you keep the guard on the face of the tree and you go round in a clockwise direction and then you'll always end up with a couple of little wispy bits by the trunk which is then where you get strimmer damage because people use full throttle and the string goes in and it cuts the cadmium layer and the main bark underneath and it causes this and it can uh, cause rot and damage all up one side of the tree um, the best way to do it is on very very low revs with your string I use 2.4 mil square line in my steel and it's very very low revs and it just does virtually no damage to the tree with practice but the best way by far is to mulch just have a, a pit, an area about the size of a dustbin lid or six inches all the way around six to eight inches depending on which you prefer all the way around the tree level with the soil not mounded up because then it, if there is any damage if this is a precaution after the fact that you're doing if there is any damage then it can get into the tree and it can rot the tree that way so it should always be level with the soil but just a clear bare patch of earth that you keep free from grass so and it does actually quite a lot of um, has a lot of benefit for the tree you can easily feed it directly to the bare soil so you're not feeding the grass the grass stresses the tree out because it's uh, it's a very very greedy plant uh, suppresses the weeds because obviously you can mulch straight on top of that if you water if you decide to directly water a, a small fruit tree or an ornamental tree then uh, it gets straight to the straight to the soil quicker so there's lots of benefits for doing it and obviously the to the main one is it it looks really nice and you've got no worries about strimmer damage in the future to any trees that you've got so these are small m12 trees which are kind of six to seven foot high um, very difficult to strim underneath. Um, the homeowners have uh, decided to lay off the mulching that I've suggested um, because obviously they don't do it, I do it. But once I pointed out the uh, the strimmer damage, they're all like this, unfortunately. Uh, this one here is actually worse than this, um, but they've all got the strimmer damage all over them, sadly. So you got an M8 there. This one's an M8. M8 is, donates the size. M12 is basically the kind of smallest ornamental fruit trees you can get, so you, you get sort of 90% of the of the crop off without having to use a ladder or or uh, any other means to ascend the tree. So, but obviously you sacrifice the amount of fruit that you get off it, but there's benefits to everything. Um, yeah, so just wanted to show you strimmer damage and uh, how you can uh, counteract it. So hopefully. If you've got any trees like this, then uh, that's a sign that somebody's been heavy handed with a strimmer in the past. So yeah, just mulch around, or just clear an area, clear the turf, dustbin size, uh, and that will benefit your tree greatly. Take care, bye bye.